Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a request by my son. It's a Star Wars themed painting representing the dark side of the force and the light side of the force. He's a teenager, but he is still crazy about Star Wars. So there's the red side representing the dark side and the light side, obviously, rep uh, the blue side, obviously representing the light side. And they will be swiped, each side will be swiped in a different color. So on that side, I have different shades of reds and an orange and a bit of gold. I didn't have any yellow made up, so I couldn't go with yellow. It was a bit time sensitive for me. So this is a dark red, no, carmine red, sorry, with a little bit of black in it to make it a nice dark red like that. The other one was just carmine and then orange. This is obvious, obviously just simple gold. It is Montmartre gold. These paints were all made up with float hole, not glue, no silicone. <laughs> This one, I actually can't remember how I made this. It is obviously red, a bit of black, I think a little bit of purple to make it, I don't know. I, it's, it's got all sorts of colors in it, but I didn't put too much because I'm swiping with black. So now I'm starting the light side. This is cerulean blue, I think. I used so many colors I can't remember exactly what I used. This one is Thalo Blue. They are all Montmartre colors. I don't know if I mentioned that. This was um, a little bit of Thalo Blue with some silver to get this weird dirty shiny blue almost very interesting color and then i had turquoise just a little bit to give it some interestingness now the reason i have the tape in the middle is because he wants a clear uh, divide between the two sides so i'm just i put the tape down and then i will which would make it easier to you know, put down the center of the the canvas, a clear divide. Anyway, so now my colors are down and I need to tilt them around a little bit, which isn't very easy to, you know, keep them away from each other, the different colors. Even though there's the, the tape in the center, it can still, they can still blend over the tape, over, over each of the other sides. Sorry, I'm stumbling a bit on my words. So it's a bit difficult to tilt like one normally would to get the colors all over and tilt it off the edges. There's also a lot of paint on the canvas, so it needs to be tilted off. So I'm just doing it slowly, but helping it along. I try not to fast forward this part because it's an interesting part of the process and I think there are some people that would enjoy watching this. If you don't want to watch this, then feel free to forward. So here the colors are blended a little bit too close together. So I just took my scraper, as you can see, and, and removed some paint so that there is a bit of room for, the, for some more movement with the colors. But it really was not easy to get those colors to go over the edges. And, and keep them on their own sides. <clears throat> so once again, I need to scrape a bit off. At the same time, it kind of helps that I have to scrape off in the center because it removes some of the paint that I'm struggling to get rid of. So now you can see I'm really struggling to get the blue to go over the edge and not have the red side move all the way into the blue. You can already see there is some red in the blue, which I am now scraping away but it really isn't difficult. I'm going to have to hop it along like that. And as soon as I do hop it along, you can see the paint start running off. 
So it just needed that bit of help. And then the only way I could get extra paint off was just to go straight up and down so that the, the reds and the blues don't mix with one another. It really does help to go slowly and not rush it because you need to have control over what's going on here. With a, a normal swipe you can tilt it around however much you want but when you need to keep the colors on their own on their own sides of the canvas then it's then you really need to go slow and have control over what is going on which is extremely difficult when it comes to a paw. Now once again I have to remove paint from the center because I need to now start doing my swiping but I cannot swipe with all that paint pooled in the middle. I need to be able to put the two colors down, the two swipe colors down. So I'm going to start with the dark side and obviously I'm going to swipe with black. Now the black is a little bit thinner than the rest of the paint. I didn't do any measuring. I just mixed up the paint and felt if it was good enough to swipe with and it was. So it's relatively thin but there are no measurements. I just mixed it up. So there the black is down and it's swipe time. Try not to take all the black, otherwise it'll cover the canvas completely. I think that is pretty epic. That is quite the success for the dark side. Now I just have to remove some more paint from the center. And I have to turn the canvas around because I'm right handed and cannot do anything that way around. I'm useless left handed. So I'm going to swipe the blue side now, which obviously is going to be swiped with white. So once again, didn't um, do any measurements. I just put some white in, put some Floetrol in and got it to the consistency that I thought would be right. Put a nice healthy helping of some white down. And the same thing, try not to take all the white. But the cells that pop up here, oh my word. That is one of the prettiest things ever. That blue side is amazing. I'm actually quite surprised at how gorgeous that blue side is. So now I am just taking away the excess paint between the two sides and also the black side became a bit, I can't, I can't describe it. So I ha what I had to do was pull some of the black into the center again because it, I, I don't, like I said, I can't explain it. It just was a bit solid. So I had to just pull it over to... Yes, you can see. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know how to describe. It's 
So anyway, here you can see I'm just doing some touch-ups, um, covering up the blue that shouldn't be there with the white, and just touching up what I need to touch up. And over here, I'll make the biggest mistake ever. I run over my canvas instead of next, instead of around it. So now I'm standing thinking, what am I going to do? My son is gasping on the other side of the counter. But it's actually quite easy to fix. Paint will lift up on whatever tool you put on it. So it was pretty easy to use that. And just lift up the paint that had run over. Look, if it was a lot of paint, then obviously it wouldn't have worked. But a thin layer like that, a little streak, it was perfect. So now you can barely see that anything happened. So I'm done now and I'm going to leave this painting for a couple of hours to dry so that the paint in the center of the canvas can settle a little bit and not blend in as soon as I lift the tape. Okay, so I'm back about an hour and a half later. I'm a bit disappointed because when I put my camera back up to record, I obviously didn't do the same settings, so it's not as close as it was before. I do apologize for that, but you can still see what's going on. So I've taken my tape off and realized that I left the painting for a little bit too long because now the paint has settled to the point where it doesn't even collapse in a little bit. So I have to quickly figure out what I want to do so I thought that taking a pipette and putting some paint in the black and the white and running it along the edges of the black would work pretty well it's really the only option that I had not steady enough to pour it straight from the cup and this you have quite a fair amount of control when you use these things okay so I do fast forward it a little bit here because it does take a long time so I'm definitely not going that fast, I have to take it slowly, but um, it does the trick. Uh, I have control, I, I can put down however much paint I want to and where I want it, and it does the job that is needed. I have to do the same thing with the white now, and just fill in that side, the white did prove to be more difficult because in the beginning when I was doing the white side I'd already blended the white and the blue a little bit and found that to be a challenge so putting the white down on this side was definitely more difficult. The black was easy, I mean you can see now it just blends beautifully but the white was quite challenging. So I continue on adding white and with the problematic areas I just have to try and be creative and figure out how to go about getting rid of the blue. So here I just pull it towards the center a little bit and then actually scrape it off which worked pretty well. I got rid of a lot of the blue there and just continue on taking it out as much as I can and continuing on with the white. So I have to add a fair amount of white there. I really struggled to get the blue to blend into the white the same as the other side. The, the black and the red side to me that looked just more like a solid line as opposed to the blue and the white just blending in the center it was really difficult
So I'm just finishing up with the white and the black. I'm going to add another row of black because I felt that there was quite a, a lot of white and not enough black to match. And so I'm just finishing up with that quickly. And then I'm going to add a center color, which is what my son wanted. So I chose silver. This was just my pre-made silver and glue mixture. I wasn't really thinking when I did it. But again, I didn't really have time to mix up silver with Floetrol. So I just went with this. And I'm really glad I had it in that bottle. It made it a lot easier to pour down the center. So that's the color. I fill up the center with silver and make sure that it fills in all the gaps, add in some extra when I need to, and just use my palette knife to manipulate the silver where I need it to be. I'm done with the silver now. I'm done with all the paint. So now I'm just tilting a little bit left and right to try and get the white and the black to blend a bit more into the into their own sides. And then the silver to just move around a little bit between the black and the white to get some kind of blending and movement instead of just solid lines. At this point, I was done with the canvas, but I felt like it needed just something extra. I wasn't fond of the just the way it was looking. Um, I contemplated doing tiny little swipes with the silver, but I, th I thought it would have looked great going into the white and the blue, but not into the black. It just wouldn't have worked. So I just took a stick and did some little... As you can see little doodly line things i just thought that it broke the harshness of the white silver and then black i i really needed to do something and that was all i could really think of so i went with that and i think it turned out pretty well it gave it some kind of look whimsical something or other i don't know and it broke the the lines, which was what I was going for. And I'm pretty happy with it just the way it is now. My son is happy with it, and that is was the point. That is why I did it. I'm going to try again on a bigger canvas, and I'd like to see if I can get something similar, if not better, than the result I have now. I won't wait as long to take the tape off and actually maybe even take the tape off straight away just to see what happens. Perhaps the blending is better. Who knows? But I am very happy with this and I'm happy that he is happy and thank you for watching. I hope you like it. Please tell me what you think. Here's a close up. I think that is really, really pretty, but I'd love to know your thoughts. So please let me know. Comment, like, and of course, as always, please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.